Hey, MCA, it's Mrs. Lyro, the English teacher. We are hosting a COVID-19 vaccination clinic here at the school on May 26th, that's next Wednesday, from noon until 4 p.m. This is for any MCA student or the family members of the student. Where The second shot will be administered June 16th from noon to 4 p.m. The coronavirus mostly spares younger children, but teens aren't so lucky. Younger children are about half as likely as older teenagers and adults to become infected, new studies suggest. So that's why we want you to get vaccinated. Did you know that the COVID-19 vaccine is 95% effective? Approximately 38,000 individuals participated in the clinical trials and were monitored for two months after the second dose. So the vaccine is proven to be safe. Now we do wanna be clear about the side effects that could happen with the vaccine. Now, all of the staff here, we've been vaccinated, so we can actually tell you about some of the side effects. Now, you can see the side effects listed there. Now, personally, I did feel some chills, some fatigue, and a little bit of muscle pain, but it was really just like kind of being sick for a day. One myth you may have heard is that the COVID-19 vaccine was developed with or contains controversial substances. The fact is the first two COVID-19 vaccines to be authorized by the FDA contain mRNA and other normal vaccine ingredients such as fats, which protect the mRNA, salts, as well as a small amount of sugar. These COVID-19 vaccines were not developed using fetal tissue, and they do not contain any material such as implants, microchips, or tracking devices. Another myth is that the messenger RNA technology used to make the COVID-19 vaccine is brand new. In reality, the mRNA technology behind the new coronavirus vaccine has been in development for almost two decades. Vaccine makers created the technology to help them respond quickly to new pandemic illnesses such as COVID-19. Another myth is that getting the COVID-19 vaccine gives you COVID-19. The fact is the vaccine for COVID-19 cannot and will not give you COVID-19. The two authorized mRNA vaccines instruct your cells to reproduce a protein that is part of the SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus, which helps your body recognize and fight the virus if it comes along. The COVID-19 vaccine does not contain the SARS-CO2 virus, so you cannot get COVID-19 from the vaccine. The protein that helps your immune system recognize and fight the virus does not cause infection of any sort. Another myth is getting the COVID-19 vaccine means I can stop wearing my mask and taking coronavirus precautions. Now, the fact is, on May 13th, the CDC revised safety guidelines for those who are fully vaccinated against the coronavirus. The updated guidelines state that fully vaccinated people can resume activities without wearing a mask or physically distancing. That's why you saw Ms. Lyro and I interacting with each other. Now, there are certain places where it's required by state, federal, local, tribal, or territorial laws, rules, and regulations, and also local business guidelines and workplace guidelines. Now that you have some more information about the coronavirus vaccine, we want you to get vaccinated so that you can be safe and we can put this whole coronavirus mess behind us. So make sure you contact your teacher, get signed up, and attend the shots. Thanks, guys. Stay safe out there.